Holy smokies, it ain't no jokies. Breaking Shiba Inu news. Shiba Inu was stolen and is selling off. I'll explain everything, what's happening, why, why did it sell off? Maybe by the time you see this video, it's already come back, but this is some big news here for Shiba Inu. Um, it's now, it's pretty early in the US, so I might wait a little bit until I release it, but breaking news everybody just something that you never want to see but it's part of crypto it's part of the game and i'll explain everything don't freak out it's okay it's okay <laughs> it's part of the game uh beautiful smile smishity smash that like button right we need we need good vibes today and let's do the shiba shake <laughs> So truthfully, I wanted to talk about the Shiba Inu game and about the Ethereum ETFs and what was happening, right? And look at the market that's pulled back a little bit. But you see this minus 10% Shiba Inu. I was looking at the market. I woke up this morning, right? And everything was looking fine. Everything was looking good, right? It was a little bit down, right? I got up around here, 10-ish, right? And then suddenly, boom, Shiba Inu started selling off. Uh, I said to myself, what's going on here? I look at Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin, 64,700. No, you know, a little bit, you know, up and down. It's been very spiky. Something that I noticed for Bitcoin is every time it hits 65,000, um, recently it gets the push down. Um, so, you know, there was 65,000, it got pushed down. 65,000, got pushed down. Um, so just watch out for that. I was looking at Ethereum, right? No, nothing's going on. So what the beep is going on, right? What the Franklin Roosevelt is, <laughs> is going on with Shiba Inu? I am you know, someone that watches Shiba Inu a lot. I saw XRP was down 8%, 8 but I was like, okay, XRP has been up a lot. So it makes a little bit sense, you know, that there'd be a little bit of a sell-off. It was really weird. You know, I look at, uh, you know, the other meme coins, Doge, Doge a little bit down. It could be in uh, sympathy with Shiba Inu. <laughs> I was looking, I was like, what, what's happening here? You know, Pepe is not down, right? Uh, so, something's really weird that's it's happening. Then I saw this. It says, alert. Hey, Wazir India, our systems has detected multiple specific transactions involving your safe multisig wallet on the Ethereum network. A total of 234 million uh, of your funds have been moved to new addresses. Each transaction's caller is funded by Tornado Cash. They have swapped Pepe, Gala, USDT, and Ethereum. And then I saw on the look chain, someone put on a, um, a, a table here, the top asset that was stolen was 5 trillion Shiba Inu worth about $100 million. And then I was like, ah, okay, okay, okay. Now I understand what happened here. Five trillion Shiba Inu was stolen and sold off. Makes sense uh, when you have a situation like this where you have an asset uh, that is stolen. You can see that if we remove the lines for a second, you know, uh, no, almost, you know, little volume, little volume, little volume. And as soon as they stole it, they started selling it off significantly. So I said to myself, okay, you know, it is what it is. I had a I had a little bit of a position here that got stopped out. It's okay, right? This is something that we, we knew that could happen. This is why I always remind you, right? And I always warn you that you can you can have, you know, the best technical analysis. You can have the, you know, the best know about. You have all the best lines and the best trend line. And you're like, oh, it's the cup and handle and the pregnant lady and this and this and this and that right and at the end of the day something like this happens and drops the asset and then if you're day trading you get stopped out or you get liquidated i wonder yeah on the hour see usually we don't see shiba inu uh on this uh, top list of liquidations and now you can see both shib and thousand shib here at the top if we look at the four hour you don't even see it, right? It's just smaller here, right? Because of the one hour here. But if you look at the one hour, it was it was a big it was a big one, right? Um, so 
I'm not I'm not freaking out too much about this uh, six and a half percent drop when the rest of the market is up. Uh, it's it's part of the ups and downs of the crypto market. It's you know I warn every single Monday that you can get to uh, exposed by a hack by you know everything that happens here. I don't know uh, by the way if this is uh, customer funds. So I would think that Wazir X is the biggest uh, exchange in India would have a uh you know backing for this meaning that customers that are on the platform will not be affected so i know i have we have viewers here from uh, india uh and so i hopefully your shiba inu is uh, safe right but this is just another reminder um that not your keys not your crypto like uh cal said here not your keys not your crypto that exchanges are for exchanging for day trading uh and if you do have a significant amount um you know it's wiser to hold it by yourself right uh, and exchanges are not bank accounts we know this we've experienced this before sometimes we get a little bit uh you know we forget and then <laughs> we we make uh you know some some mistakes i will be interested to see if this gets eaten up meaning if the sell-off here is over and the algos see you know this weird sell-off and they start buying it up especially if the market will cross 65,000, if Bitcoin can cross 65,000 uh, and hold, will we see um, this sell-off get eaten up? Even if it doesn't, um, you know, long-term pr perspective, it's only 6%. Um, I, I don't know if they still have more, but you can see there's a lot of activity now. Uh, I don't know if they'll, they'll sell everything. Um, can we see like on the hourly chart how much this is? 1.2 and 1.6 so from the look of it right there could be more right because there's 5.4 trillion if they sell everything um it will be interesting to see uh maybe they were able to stop the leakage right with your x uh maybe they're going to keep some of the shiba inu who knows right not every time that the hackers take they sell everything um so it'll be interesting to see we could see more pullback we could see a pop here everything is on the table currently when you have a situation like this it's up in the air um, but it is what it is it's part of the crypto market again i'm not freaking out about this if we drop to i don't know 16 it drops and then people will be like oh discount right <laughs> Um, the algos will be like, oh, discount, right? Because it's an anomaly when you have these kinds of things happening. Um, and so it will be interesting to see how um, how this plays out today. Uh, um, I'm going to go to the pool later, have some fun with the kids. You know, sometimes when you have things like this happen, you just got to step back a little bit, zoom out, relax, um, and, you know, just brush it off your shoulder. Um, like I said, uh, that might stop my... Uh, short-term trade got stopped out but it's okay uh long term it's a blip on a long-term uh you know ride here uh it happens uh shiba inu got uh you know ethereum is 50 million but you know ethereum um it, it got maybe affected here but not too much maybe they're still holding the ethereum right and i saw matic was also there so you can see Matic pull back a little bit, suddenly a spike in volume as well. So they might be selling a lot of the Matic there. Uh, Pepe, Gala, right? So Pepe, I didn't see them selling much on the Pepe. So it seems like they're just shell selling the Shiba Inu right now. Um, so it is what it is, uh, but uh, maybe you can take advantage of it. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very, it's very uh, tricky here. You got to be careful because um, like I said, it could get eaten up very fast this drop but it could also continue to tank because we don't know how much more they have uh, and how much more they they want to sell off so you have to be very very careful right in days like like this when these kinds of things happen okay now can we go back so shiba inu eternity uh the game you know what i'll, I'll leave that for a different time we'll talk about the game uh, i want to talk about the ethereum etfs a little bit it seems like they all have their fees the only one that's being a, a douche <laughs> again are uh, grayscale <laughs> uh, we're probably going to see an exodus again i don't know didn't they learn from from the previous uh, go around that is it's not smart to do what they're doing um but um 
the the fees are pretty low right uh so we got uh which one is the um the uh, um blackrock i think it's the i shares there are 25 the cheapest one is 19 is franklin we'll see not every time the cheapest one gets the most uh, uh the most business uh, but we see fidelity and blackrock are on the the same page here at 25 um but they are going with zero at the beginning right uh, until the end of the year so we'll see there might be a battle here between um fidelity and blackrock because they are the two big ones in um in the bitcoin etf so we'll see what will happen there uh it's it's not uh you know the the you know we always feel a little bit dirty when we see a hack like this right it's not not the best feeling uh, but like i said it is what it is it's part of the game um and uh we need to take it with a silver lining with a smile uh that even you know with a hack like this and five trillion stolen um we're, we're still up you know big uh since the low right maybe that's the silver line <laughs> right even with all this, we're, you know, it's still up 36% in the last 12 days. That's the silver lining. Maybe this is the, the sell-off that Shiba Inu needed before it, you know, explodes. Maybe, right? Uh, and so maybe that's, you know, it, it, it uh, technically, you know, sold off everything and now it, it can breathe a little bit more. Maybe that's the silver lining. Who knows, right? Uh, but it will be interesting to see how this plays out. Like I said, maybe by the time you see this, because it's a little bit early, I'll probably release this in an hour and a half um, because everybody's sleeping. <laughs> um, but it will be interesting, except Europe and Asia, of course. But most of my viewers are from the U.S., 60% <laughs> of you guys. Um, so it will be interesting to see how this plays out. Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. And check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.